these patient rooms? Why, why, why would you put up diagrams of hearts? Doctor said I can go home soon, thank god. To me it's horrible here, I don't like this hospital. Well yeah, they've got human hearts lying everywhere. Uh, the food is terrible compared to a home cooked meal, this is just shit. Even fast food is starting to sound good. Besides there's absolutely nothing to do here and this room is simply awful. Though it wouldn't be if they just fixed it. Like removing the poster of the uh, dissected top from the wall would, uh, would help. The truth is on the third floor the repair work has already been done. From what I hear, the ceiling in room 302 has collapsed and crushed one of the patients. Apparently one of the doctors found him and he's now in the morgue. But that's just what I've heard. I haven't seen it for myself. So that's, uh, that's something to look forward to when we, uh, when we get to the third floor. Which I'm sure we'll be going to in due course. They are not humans. Probably do. Right, so third floor it is. So I won't get through there, right? Back to the elevator. And we'll try third floor. I'm surprised there's been nothing particularly scary yet. That's all waiting for us now. Oh, another save. We'll do that. What the hell is with all these pictures? No, I didn't mean to do that. to the most of the uh, Sound Hill games. Door doesn't have a handle. I'm assuming that's locked. Oh, it is. It is not. Let's just see what's in here. Rusty bath. Some things. Don't know what they are. Let's go back through there because I want to. I want to go in all these rooms around here first. If we're going to explore the fa the place, might as well explore it fully. Except these are all going to be locked now, aren't they? Room of birth. Okay, so nothing of note in there. Let's go back through here. Teddy bear and a doll. That's a freaky looking doll. Yeah, it scares me and all.
Oh, this is like the last room that I can go in. So what's in here? to a locker. Where did I see a locker? Oh. Hello. Hey. Hey. You okay? Give. Can I pick that up? Okay, we're not uh, we're not picking up the radio. Let's see if we can say hi to this lovely lady around here. Oh, she's gone. Right, so I have the key to a locker. Which isn't much help really because I don't remember seeing the lock locker anywhere. I guess we're checking each each uh, floor again. Can't have been anything particularly distinctive about the locker, which um, in the um, oh, was that it? No. In the Silent Hill games, you, you did pretty much always know where you needed to uh, where you needed to go, because if if there was something that you needed to use an item on, they'd they'd make it distinctive, so that you'd remember it. Those just patient rooms. Aha. What have we got? Dr. Kaufman has ordered the installation of a code panel on the door to, an, to the operation room. What I can't understand is what does he want it for? Well, whatever is not important. If you've got the password, remember that it consists of four digits. Funnily enough, each digit seems to correspond to the product of the first and third digit in the numbers of four different rooms? What the fuck? Um, right. So, okay. I actually need a pen and paper for this. Um, let me search around for a pen and paper. Luckily, I happen to have some to hand. Right, so the code. Um, that isn't a sheet of paper. Uh, the code is a product of the first and third. Um, so you add the first and the third door number, uh, room number rather, together to get the number for the code. Right, so there's a TV in the first room, which I remember because it was dusty. Um, heart in the second room. I'm assuming that's one with a human heart in it. Uh, little girl in the third, which will be the one with a teddy in it. And someone drunk in the fourth, which would be the one with all of those bottles in it. Now, I believe that they were all on the second and third floors, but we'll uh, we'll have a look. It's a bit of, um, of an annoying puzzle, I have to say. Generally speaking, if, if you need a pen and paper to work it out, it's, uh, it's probably not the best puzzle. 
not that. Well, there's TV there, but I'm assuming it's not that. I'm assuming it's the one with the actual... Actually, it might be that. Let me just write that one down anyway. So, what room number is that? 205 and I'll also write down the room number of the uh, of the other room that had a TV in just in case it's that one right so 201 is the one with the heart Two oh two is the other one with the TV in. Nothing in that. Although there is a heart on the wall, so it could be it could be that. That's a picture of the dissected heart on the wall. Maybe. That's room 203, so I'll write that down as well. The others are on the third floor. It really is a bit long winded, isn't it, this puzzle? And I don't really like puzzles that, rev that revolve around a lot of backtracking. the one with the girl and the one with all the bottles in it. Okay. So what's that room? 301. That's the one that had the girl in. And all the bottles in that one would tell me that 303 is the one with the drunk in. Right then, let's go back down to the operation room and see if we can't get this uh, code to work. It's a good job we've got a run in this game. Otherwise, it will be even more tedious. Now, considering the fact as well that, uh, that a few of these rooms, um, the clue could have referred to one or two rooms. So let's have a look. If it's the one with the TV on the table, then that was 202. So the first one would be 4. Heart, I'm, I'm going to say it's the one with the actual heart in it, which will be 3. The girl, 301, so that's 4. And the drunk, 303, which would, which would be 6. So let's try 4346. Okay, I've just edited out about five minutes of video there of basically me just 
bashing my head against this keypad here. Um, I misread the instructions, or maybe it's a bad translation from Russian. Maybe it's just me being an idiot. But you don't add the first and third numbers together. You times them. So rather than watch me hammer random buttons on here for five minutes, I'll just take you straight to this. Uh, so th thank you, the internet, for providing me with the correct answer, which is four, two, three, nine. There we go. There we go. Sorted. Now, where are we? Probably do not want to know what's gone on here. I wonder if we stay in the hospital for the entire game, because I've pretty much explored most of the hospital now. Life 35. Well, there's no other way out of this room. Um, it's got to relate to something. There, there was there was a room with some kind of safe in it, with some blood writing on the wall, wasn't there? Um, and there was like a combination on the safe. Let me just write this down. This this mod certainly has a lot of writing stuff down. It's a good job I have a pen and paper here. Right. There's nothing else I can do in this room. And there, there, there were a few other rooms with blood on them as well. I just can't remember which ones. Oh, I'm going to have to go through the whole again. However, because I'm kind and gentlemanly, I will save you from all of that. I have gone to uh, all the rooms which had blood on the uh, on the walls. And there are basically three rooms in total, including that last one that we just saw. You've got the room of birth, which is in one of the bathrooms. Um, and it's, it had the Roman numerals for four right next to it. Then you have the Room of Life that we've just seen, which is 35. Then Room of Old Age, which is another bathroom, which again had Roman numeral of four. So I'm guessing we put it from birth, life, old age, which gives us four, three, five, four. And I'm hoping this works. Four, three, Five, four, awesome. Oh, I, d I didn't think it was working then. Picked up a key mark DL. What could DL mean? What could DL mean? Um. Oh dear, this game. You know if um. It could really do with like monsters in it, you know what I mean? Just to kind of like up the ante a little bit. Right, it's nothing on this floor because it, the, the, these puzzles are very backtracky and tedious. Okay, so it's not for anything on the second floor. Try the third floor. For some reason my cursor is no longer showing on that keypad. Not entirely sure why. normal room so that won't be for DL storage that doesn't have a handle then a room it's probably something downstairs to be honest that that opens yeah there's nothing there it's just normal rooms 
Right, so we, we, we will try the first floor. There was actually a, lock, a locked room in the basement, but I believe I had a keypad. Rather than a lock. Oh, I've got my cursor back. There we go. <laughs> No, okay, so definitely not in the basement. Director's office, kitchen, doctor's office. Could it maybe be for that? Do I stuck? Of course it is. Look from the other side. Come on, what is DL? That just goes into the room with the uh, toolbox. Okay, so not there. Maybe it was one of those doctors' offices. But then why would it say DL? Oh, it is for that. Doctor's office. Okay. Well, it's nicer than the rest of the hospital. I'll tell you that. I hereby forbid anyone from visiting the mall without my authorization. Only approved personnel may enter there. I have replaced the lock on the door with code panel. The code is currently 4573. Sweet. Okay. Written that down. Is there anything else of interest in here? Nope. Let's get into the morgue, which is that way. Which is that way. No, it is, it is actually that way. <laughs> it's just me being an idiot. Okay. Four, five, three, uh, seven, three. Sweet. Okay. There's a key there. Key to room three hundred two. So it's going to send me back. Bloody well upstairs again. That door doesn't have a handle, so we're not going through that. My god, there is some backtracking in this game. He seems to have kind of forgotten what made the uh, the sound deal puzzles so good. And it, it, bro it, it broke up the puzzles with uh, with combat as well, or trying to avoid combat, as the case was quite a lot of the time. Right, three or two is around here. Got to go through the linen room. Get around that, please. Ah, this is the one with the collapsed ceiling in it. Yep. No, 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 no! What the hell is going on? I... I gotta get out of here. You're stuck on the floor in a minute. Hey, who are you? 
F3, it must be for the third floor. Well, I'm on the third floor, so... Alright, we've been in there. I know we've been in there, because that was one of the rooms with the, uh, with all the bottles in. That was a room with the teddy in, I think. Yes, it was. So there's something on this floor, probably the storage no, because the storage doesn't have any handles. Maybe for that. Yes, there we go. Right, so we can't get up any further. I'm guessing we weren't able to get here before. Oh no, because both of these big doors are boarded up. So what's about any one of these toilets is a key for something else. Okay, something not nice has gone on there. There is a save point, which I'll use. Oh dear. I don't know uh, what's going on now. Everything's changed again, I bet. I'm now in the other world version of the hospital. What happened? Is, is this place even a hospital? Cool. Fall down there? Oh shit, I can, of course I can. I just thought I just wanted to see if I could. that down. Um, let's translate from the Roman numerals. So we've got 8, we've got 12, we've got 11, and we've got 7. Whatever the hell they're going to relate to. Got to be very careful because put these doors right next to um, the gaps in the floors which we have established will kill me if I drop down them. David, you're blame twice as much than Robert blame. You dared to be inebriated during operation. Am I David? Maybe that's why this is happening to me. <laughs> 